copies of my book. She knows who I am. You know that I've spoken to your friend. You know that I'm continuing to speak to them. Um, and you've even given your blessing to a couple of them to talk with me. I, you know all of this, uh, and you still won't talk to me, and you are thwarting my every attempt to get an interview with you. Um, but I hope that at some point you'll do what Bob Dylan did, and you'll sit down and write your story yourself. Because that's a book that I would immediately run out and buy, and I'm sure that millions of other people would too, because um, even if I had your cooperation, um, I don't know that you'd tell me everything. I suspect that you probably would uh, edit yourself or let the Jack persona take over and not that really get down to the heart of the matter. But if you actually sat down and tried to write it yourself, um, you might come out with something like Bob Dylan's Chronicles. And it might not only be um, revealing and instructive for a whole new generation of actors, and Hollywood wannabes, but it might even be instructive for yourself. And wouldn't that be terrific? Never heard from me, of course, but um, I still hold out hope. You know, I don't think that he's, uh, uh, you know, so so self-involved that. Uh, that he doesn't uh, pay attention to people like me. I think that uh, I think he knows full well who I am, uh, what I've done, and. Uh, Do you think he read your book? Yeah, I think he probably did. Yeah, I think he did. When you watch a movie. Uh, is, is that you on the screen, and do you it has so strongly identify with with the, the protagonist that you know it's like you're watching yourself, you know, transported into this fictional setting, or you're just sitting back watching you know other people act? Well, both. I mean, if it's a really, really good movie, and if it has uh, if it has touchstones that uh, uh, affect that I can identify with in my own life, certainly I, um, I identify with the, the protagonist. I mean, that's, um, what, that's what Hollywood wants me to do. And, um, and sure, you know, and I think in, in terms of, of Jack, I think about that. I mean, I was in the Navy, so when I watched the last detail, I'm going, yeah, that's how it was. Yeah, I know, I get that. Um, when, um, you know, when I watch Five Easy Pieces, which is still one of my favorite movies, I identify with it uh, a lot. I mean, you know, that kind of uh, conflict between um, being who you are supposed to be or who your family or society thinks that you ought to be uh, and the, the rebel inside of you says, screw all of that, I'm going to go out and uh, live my life. Uh, yeah, I mean, you know, sure, I identify with that. But, you know, there is the television side of me, too. I mean, at the end of a long, hard, arduous day, there's uh, nothing more relaxing than uh, collapsing on the couch, uh, picking up the remote, um, maybe making a uh, you know, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich and uh, watching some sort of dribble that, uh, uh, that's uh, relatively mindless but uh, has enough of a plot structure to carry you through an hour so that you, uh, you can escape into the broadcast ether. Which Jack Nicholson uh, character uh, do you most identify with? Most days, probably.
only Jay Giddings. Uh -huh. Yeah. Because I fancy myself um, uh, a Chandler-esque um, literary gumshoe, um, but by the end of the picture, I usually um, come to recognize that I don't know half the shit I think I do. <laughs> She's my sister. She's my mother. That's great. That's good. I think that's my headline. Literary Gumshoe, Dennis J. Giddings McDougall. <laughs> Do you think, like, if circumstances were different, would you like to be friends with Jack Nicholson? Do you think you guys would be friends if life would place you together? Uh, I think we could be, yeah. Yeah, and, and you know, I mean, I, I, share, uh, I, I share a lot of his tastes. Um, I like his taste in art. Um, yeah, wait a minute. Of course, this is probably a function of my own age. Um, I prefer uh, I, I, I prefer the the young women that he knew uh, as they are now. For instance, you know, uh, I think Michelle Phillips is a stone cold babe in 2008. <laughs> but you know, back when he was messing around with her. I'm not so sure. Um, and I shared his tastes as far as uh, literature and uh, reading materials concerned. Um, probably his uh, uh, his taste in movies. I certainly share his politics.